Okay, I was given a request to write a, to produce a video on solving one-step inequalities with m mixed numbers in them. So I'm going to try this one here. What we've got here is this is, uh, this is another, this is a mixed number right here. And this time we've got a mixed number times the variable. So to solve this one, I do have to do the divide by that mixed number. Now to divide by it, the first thing I would do is I would rewrite this as an improper fraction, where I would, to do that, I multiply by the bottom, add the top, so this becomes 5 halves x is greater than negative 3. And we never really divide by a fraction, so although I would technically want to divide by 5 halves, since we never divide by a fraction, we actually would multiply by its reciprocal. So this would become, multiply both sides by 2 fifths, which is going to cancel out over here, so you get an x greater than negative 3 times 2 fifths is going to give you negative 6 fifths, because remember that that's the, uh, this gets multiplied, the whole number is going to get multiplied by the top or numerator, and that becomes the new numerator, because having a negative 3 is just like saying negative 3 over 1, top times top gives you the top, bottom times bottom gives you the bottom. And since we were talking about mixed numbers, this should be simplified, this final answer should be simplified to a mixed number, which means that this would result in x being greater than negative 1 and 1 fifth, because 5 goes into 6 once with 1 left over, which is why we have the 1 up there. Okay, now to graph that, uh, I would put the negative, uh, maybe I would do something like this. I put a negative 1 here, and then maybe make this the 1 and make this negative 4 fifths, then make this negative 3 fifths, then <coughs> negative 2 fifths, then negative 1 fifth. Oops fifth. And then from this direction, we have negative 1 and 1 fifth, negative 1 and 2 fifths, and so on, negative 1 and 3 fifths, and then this would be negative 1 and 4 fifths. So since this is a, a greater than with no or equal to on it, I would have an open circle on that. So this would be an open circle over the negative 1 and 1 fifth. The greater than symbol here means we've got to look for the values that are greater than negative 1 and 1 fifth. So my arrow would go off in this direction like this. I know my numbers are kind of sloppy here, but hopefully you can see that. Another way you could do the graph here to make it a little bit cleaner is you could just go negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 0, and 1. And then you could put an open circle right about where negative 1 and 1 fifth would be and put an arrow like that. Notice how this is less than 1 half, but so it's between the negative one and negative two, and it is less than halfway between them, because the one-fifth would be less than one-half of the way. Okay, now this second example here, we have the, the x is part of the fraction, and it is improper fraction, which is part of mixed numbers, so I think it's fair game for this one here. Now, we are, when you've got negative 7x over 3, that's the same as negative 7 thirds times x, so this it can be written like this. Now, to work this one out, you would just like the top one there, you would multiply by the reciprocal. So it's a negative 3 sevenths. All right. 
do that to both sides, because whatever you do to one side of the inequality is the same thing to the other. And when you multiply by a negative, what happens to the inequality symbol? It flips. It becomes a greater than or equal to here. We got a greater than or equal to 9, negative 9, because that's what 3 times 3 is negative 9. 15 times 7 is going to give you 105. Those have a common factor of 3, which we could have seen here, that common factor between the diagonals here, which is going to end up giving us an x is greater than or equal to negative 3 over 36. Now, I'm going to say that the, probably the best way to graph this would be to simply work with something like 0, 1, 2, and negative 1, negative 2, and put this as a filled-in circle just below 0, and the arrow would go off to the right like that because those are the values that are greater than negative 3 fifths. If you really needed to break this down a little bit more detailed in the graph, you could work with a negative 3 over 36 in the middle. Then maybe this would be a negative 1 over 36, and then this would be a positive 1 over 36, counting up by 36 like that, and then this would be negative 5, 36, negative 7, 36. You can go on so on like that having the closed circle over the 336 and the arrow going in that direction. Now, the previous two examples both had multiplying going on. In this case, we're, here we're going to have subtraction. So when we've got a subtraction here, we are going to have to add this 1 and 4 fifths to get it to the other side. which is going to give you x is greater than, when you add these, you would have to convert uh, to a common denominator. So when adding mixed numbers, I, yeah, I generally like to convert to, to impropers and work with impropers, but that's me. Uh, in this particular case, since we are adding two positive numbers, I would, you know, maybe I could stick with this. I would just convert this to a common denominator of 10, which would make this 3 and 7 tenths plus 1 and 8 tenths, which when you add them together is going to give you 4 and 15 tenths. But since 15 tenths is an improper fraction, 10 is going to go into 15 once, which is going to add 1 to the overall whole number there. You get 5 and 5 tenths. And 5 tenths can be simplified to 1 half. So your final solution would be x is greater than 5 and 1 half, which you would then graph by putting a maybe the 5 in the middle and the 5 and a half, 6, 4 and a half, uh, 4. We'd have an open circle. Oops not over the 5, the open circle would be over the 5 and a half, and it would be a greater than, so it would go in that direction like that. Right, now, on this one at the bottom, we have addition, so to get the stuff to the other side, we would have to subtract 2 and 1 third, subtract 2 and 1 third. That's going to give you x is less than or equal to the result of this subtraction, which for me, I'm going to take this off to the side here. I'm going to convert these to impropers. I'm going to get uh, 19 over 6 minus, uh, that would be a 9, 10, 10 over 3, which would actually be, we convert that to common denominators, times 2 here would make that common denominator 6. I would get 19 6 minus... 26, which would result in negative 1 sixth. So my x would be less than or equal to negative 1 sixth. This would be the inequality solution. 
to graph it. Negative one sixth. Uh, Let's make that 0 over here and negative 1 third, which would be the 2 sixths. Uh, I would have a filled in circle with uh, the arrow going in that direction. Okay, uh, this was asked for by, this video was asked for by Kevin. Kevin, I know it's been a month since you put in the request, but hopefully this is still helpful to you. Um, again, if you guys have any requests, uh, do your, I will do my best to try and get back to them and get the videos on there. Um, anytime, leave a request. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel. Just look at the eagle symbol down here and go ahead and click on that to subscribe so you can see when I put new videos out. Thank you.